We continue from where Itoshi Rin has stolen the ball from Kaiser, preventing Kaiser from unleashing the Kaiser impact as Rin prepared to go on the counterattack. If you visit this channel regularly, consider subscribing. How will Blue Lock's current number one display his talents to drive his rival egoists into despair as Rin told Kaiser that his shooting point is very predictable? This shows us that his eyes have leveled up like crazy. His berserker mode that we first saw in the U-20 match was already cracked as he destroyed the best weapons of everyone he came across and almost managed to score a goal off that too. He has likely leveled up that berserker ability of his by now though as Nagi got a good taste of Rin's prowess. But it could also be that we will see Isagi's Metavision and Rin's Berserker mode clash. Although Isagi's Metavision is not necessarily a flow state, but that's going to be exciting nonetheless. Rin's vision is cracked as well, but it might just be that he has gained the ability of Metavision since he already had similar eyes as Isagi in the second selection. The only difference between their eyes was how Itoshi Rin was able to use them as Itoshi Rin was easily able to move into Isagi's blind spot, because it was before Isagi got good at off-the-ball moves movements, when he played against Naruhaya and Baru devouring his ability and making it his own in the process. But the way Itoshi Rin anticipated and caught the Kaiser impact before he could shoot it is crazy by itself. His vision might low-key just be two times better than it was in the U-20 match, and the fact that he could have multiple eyes isn't that far-fetched either, since Kaiser is living proof that you could be able to pull it off since he has Metavision and Predator Eye at the same time. The field is Rin's domain, as it is time for him to destroy every last one of them as he's moving up the field towards Raichi and Kunigami. Birkenstock tells them to watch out as the bastard Munchen guys are preparing for the counter. Itoshi Rin doesn't think they're capable of doing something like that, though, as he dribbles through Kunigami Raichi and Ness with ease like he's not even trying. Raichi praises Rin for being able to break through on his own as Ness says that everything about him is top-notch like his touch, speed, technique, and vision. This is the true power of Blue Lock's number one player, Itoshi Rin, as Charles Chevalier is trying to assert himself just like Tokimitsu. But suddenly we see Nanasi running beside Rin as he wants to assert himself to Rin. Fifteen days ago, in the France Stratum's training field, Nanas told Rin that he'd become a pawn and do anything for him as he begged Rin if he could become his disciple. Nanas doesn't see a way out of this on his own, it seems, which makes sense, since he's only 29th in the Blue Lock auction with a bid of 3 million yen. It's also possible that PXG, their match against Manshine City, was his only appearance on the field yet, so he has to prove himself just like Kiora Jin, although Kiora didn't get any time at all since Isagi snatched that chance away from him when he asked Noel Noah to put Hiori in instead when they were doing substitutions. Siding with the strongest is a pretty rational choice here, but Rin didn't really want to work with him as Nanas kept begging like his life depended on it. Nanasi told that he won't be able to play football at this rate, and his dream would cease to exist as well. However, Rin told him that he sucks at everything such as ball control, technique, passing, and shooting, which is why he doesn't see any merit in training him. Nanas is really going low now as he told Rin that he would do anything he wants because he wants to survive in the Neo-Egoist League, and if surviving means sacrificing himself to Rin, he'd gladly do it. Leaving his ego to the side so that someone superior can make use of you isn't going to make you the best striker in the world as it's a lukewarm ego, like Itoshi Rin calls it. If he can't climb up the steep hill on his own, how would he be able to become the best striker in the world if he has a helping hand from the guy who is trying to achieve the same goal as you? Rin agreed in the end as he warned Nanas that he'd discard him within a second thought if he's worthless. He asked him to run three times more than anyone and obey his instructions during training as well, and Nanasi agreed to it with a big smile on his face. From now on, this bumpkin is Itoshi Rin's property, as he started to listen to Rin's advice and train hard as a result. Nanasi was training with Rin as he asked Nanas what his dominant foot is. Nanasi said that it was his right leg as Itoshi Rin asked him who taught him. Nanase tells him that nobody did, and since he's right-handed, he thought that it would be the same for his legs, too. Itoshi Rin told him that the quality of precision and control that he's got with his left foot in such a short time frame is crazy as it's almost at the level of his right foot, which is why Rin ascertained that Nanus might be naturally left-footed. Or rather, I think that Nanus might even be ambidextrous like Noel Noah. It's such a shame that he got to know about this hidden ability of his at such a late point within both Blue Lock and his career. Rin humiliated him some more as he said that he was so bad at football 
that he probably didn't even notice it until this point, which made him think that his body is naturally ambidextrous. This is huge news because it could not only open up a lot of possibilities to link up with Rin, but also for himself if he really puts his mind to it. Nanas got into the flow state as he was grateful that Rin helped him discover that hidden talent of his. He doesn't care how sloppy or unrefined it looks either. Using his ambidextrousness, he'll become the linchpin that helps broaden Rin's options as Rin passed the ball to Nanase. Nanasi is holding off Kiora and Mensa, as his core strength has probably improved significantly since he decided to side with Rin. If this leads to Rin scoring goals, he'd gladly sacrifice himself over and over again. He passed the ball back to Rin now as he told himself that he'd survive as a post player. Nanas falls to the ground now as Rin told him that he's of some use all while he was preparing to take a shot. But little did he know that Michael Kaiser was in the way as he slides towards Rin while telling him that he's a shitty number one. Isagi is coming up from the other side as well as he repeats Rin's words from the last chapter, which was that a striker was nothing if he couldn't shoot. Kaiser and Isagi both try to block Rin's path now as Rin taps the ball outside of their range in the process while keeping a cool head. Rin told them that they were wrong, though, as he could shoot, but was just waiting for Isagi to arrive. That's a very stupid thing to do, though, as I'd imagine that he'd lose time with that. I mean, PXG isn't known for their rationality either way, but Loki is probably not going to like that one. He holds the back of Isagi's shirt now, as Rin tries to remember Isagi that he told him before that he would have a front row seat to witness his ascension to become the world's number one striker. For people who are curious, he told the same thing to Isagi after the four versus four match was over when he chose Isagi to join the team because he was the only one who gave him a run for his money and was able to surpass him for a short while. The VIP seat has arrived as Itoshi Rin was preparing to shoot now. But the fact that Rin can look so far into the future is very interesting as this kind of reminds me of when Yukimiya tried to steal the ball from Isagi and Bastard Munchen, their match against Ubers in Chapter 212, as Isagi suddenly stopped moving and dashed to Drago's left side as he ran up the field. This should be more impressive, though, since he not only predicted Isagi's movements, but Michael Kaiser's movements as well. Rin shot the ball towards the net, but little did he know that Hiori is in the way as he blocked Rin's shot attempt as Hiori told the Lovebirds to quit making it out. Isagi and Rin were looking surprised, as Hiori observed that he was waiting for Isagi to show up by purposely drawing him in before taking a shot. The things he does are very predictable, as he told Rin that he has to come up with a better script if he wishes to score a goal. Rin gets the better of Isagi, but Hiori swoops in and blocks Rin's shot, as Hiori joins in the race to become the game's protagonist. The field intensifies as both teams scramble to deal with the other's unpredictable movements. To draw first blood, devise a plan that no one can predict, as Rin gets frustrated, and Isagi smiles miles because of him having such a reliable teammate. Watch this related playlist next or watch this video next that YouTube has recommended to you.